Hi, I'm Heather Catchpole and welcome to Careers with STEM Online. Now this week we're going to catch up with Jo Watkins, who is the CEO of Earth Sciences Western Australia, otherwise known as ESWA. Welcome Jo and tell us, what is ESWA? Yeah, so ESWA is a not-for-profit. We've been supporting schools to teach um, earth and space science and earth and environmental science uh, for more, more than 15 years now. Um, and so we've got a lot of resources across a number of projects. And all of those resources are free for schools to access. Um, and in WA, we go into schools as well and run incursions and teach a PD. So we've got a number of different programs. Um, but what we've decided to do, because we've got so much going on and we're really looking to support teachers at this time and parents and students, is to actually bring uh, resources together that can be used at home, at school, or the combination, because we know, you know teachers are moving into the combination um, of both at the moment now. Um, so I want to highlight some of those different um, things for you. Um, Fantastic. So, yeah, so we'll do a quick quick little bit of a screen share, which is always fun. Um, <laughs> and I might jump into our YouTube channel as a start point. Um, so you can see we've actually started to profile a range of our hands-on activities that can actually be done um, at home. Um, on our YouTube channel. Um, and so they're just short little snippets uh, for different age groups. So they're available under the Australian Earth Science Education YouTube channel. And then um, to support teachers and parents with that, we've actually created a blog as well. So we've got a number of different articles where we go through really interesting, engaging earth science um, content. And then we provide links to activities and to videos, um, whether they be ours or whether they be other really great ones. There's some really good stuff out there. Um, that we're obviously really across. Fantastic. Um, so and on top of what, what would you find in one of those um, particular stories, Joe? What 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 sorts of things uh, might, might we see in there? Oh, I might jump into one that we've only just done recently. So, <laughs> so we featured the global conveyor belt um, just recently, and that's talking about the um, deep ocean currents that circulate temperature and um, nutrients around the world. So it gives you a bit of background into it, um, but it also gives you links to videos and then we've actually got an activity that's highlighted on our YouTube channel and where students can really easily um, sim stimulate or simulate, sorry, these um, ocean currents, um, looking at salinity and temperature and how they impact. And then we link it back to global climates and what's going on at the moment. So there's, you know, there's a lot of information, but short, sharp and punchy. And that's how we like to do things. And one of the other things that it links to at the moment is we've actually developed, so one of our major programs is the Woods Australian Science Project and we've actually developed um, at-home learning plans for years four to ten and so within there they have links to all of our resources that could be conducted anywhere including at home uh, but we've also just this week uh, developed or redeveloped our big STEM projects for year seven to ten and so they're really engaging real world problems um, that they can look at with an earth science but there's a lot of maths in there, there's use of digital technologies, there's design technology stuff in there as well. Um, and so we've actually redesigned them into um, interactive PDFs. And so you can see the students can go through and they've actually do some hands-on activities at home with simple materials or at school with simple materials. And they can actually complete the booklet as they go. So they can run through their scenarios, um, run their investigations, and we've got places where they can, you know, upload pictures of their experiments, um, they could, they're encouraged to take videos of their experiments, so they can really have this one interactive sort of package that they can work on. Um, and that means we can have students working on the same engaging materials at school or at home, um, which is what we were hoping to be able to do. Fantastic. So the kids can complete them that themselves. And about how long would a, one of those projects uh, take for them to complete? It depends. Yeah, so project to project, it really depends. Um, they've actually got a number of activities within them to get to so they're not just one activity and then there's the answer um, so for example the sea level rise mitigation one they actually do some background research uh, they do several little investigations about you know um, coastal erosion and they simulate they basically make up a trade of their own coast they look at um, hard and soft engineering as well and then they actually put their own simulations in place so you know that could really run for a couple of weeks depending on how many allocate how many hours are allocated to it Fantastic. And that kind of flexibility is, is really useful as well. You mentioned um, YouTube videos, and I know we've worked on some videos which um, have gone on to have, you know, sort of 
over 800, 900,000 views. So there's some absolutely fabulous uh, resources that you've got in your in those video sections as well. Yeah, wait, waiting for that one particular one to hit the million. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you jump onto the Earth Science Best Australia YouTube channel, we've actually got some some much more professional now at home investigation videos that have been done um, done by you guys at Refraction. Um, but they are on topics like the rock cycle and oil and gas formation and the water cycle, um, El Nino La Nina, solar system. Um, you know, really ranging from that year five to year ten um, and upwards. Um, and yeah, really short, sharp, three, four minutes. And yeah, one of them in particular has just gone crazy and we are just counting on the million views. We're almost there, which and, is great. And Joe, you've had that really unique sort of interface where you've worked a lot with industry and you've worked um, deeply in schools as well. Uh, what do you kind of find is the best that you hear from, from teachers in terms of connecting kids um, into earth and environmental sciences? What are the sort of best tips that you've heard from from industry and teachers in terms of engaging kids and what's what's kind of worked best um, for ESWA and, and you in what your um, program does? Yeah, I think it's the real world stuff. It's the, uh, you know, the why we do it and why it's important. And so we found, you know, for example, the STEM projects, we've got some, um, one of them's called Going for Gold and it's about politicking for gold. And, and that's when students become the most interested in, you know, how do you explore for gold? That's actually interesting. Um, the other big one that we love to do where we can is, you know, to get students, you know, involved in industry events or, um, you know, speaking to actual, you know, geologists and environmental scientists, etc. So it's, you know, it's about real people and real world problems um, rather than that really theoretical sort of stuff. And you actually have a team that that teachers can directly connect to, don't you? Who can provide that? one-on-one -on -one support or provide some, um, you know, guidance if they might have a you know, program or just thinking about where to kind of get started? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So the Earth Science West Australia website um, is a bit of a main portal and then we you can sort of head out from there. And, yeah, on the contacts tab, we actually have, um, there's now a team of five of us, <laughs> which is a lot bigger than the two that it used to be. And, uh, yeah, we're very, very happy to help. So um, we encourage you to, you know, jump on the website and contact us and with any questions you have. Um, if we don't have it, we might know who has it. And if we don't know who has it, then it might spark us to, you know, hey, there's a gap. We should actually jump in and do something about it. All right. Fantastic, Joe. We'll catch you online. And thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Bye.